I'm Dr. Mariam Golizadeh. I'm a pediatric surgeon at Chalk, and I will be discussing gastroschisis today. Gastroschisis is a birth defect in the abdominal wall. Babies are born with a hole in their abdominal wall, mostly on the right side, and all the intestines and bowels are outside. So the cause of gastroschisis, even though it's not very well known, but there are some data out there that it could be associated with some environmental factors, such as exposure of moms to tobacco, alcohol, and also there has been more seen in young moms. There's a higher incidence of gastroschisis. But again, the exact etiology is not very well known. Gastroschisis is usually diagnosed first by a lab, that lab work that has been done on moms, and it's called alpha fetal protein. That number is usually elevated. And during the second trimester, they get an ultrasound and they can see the intestines are outside. So it's picked up by lab and an ultrasound. Gastroschisis is treated in two different ways. Number one is when the intestines are out, we have to see if there is enough room that we can put the intestines back in right away after the baby is born. Sometimes, because most of the times these babies are born prematurely and they're small, we cannot get all the intestines in right away. So what we have to do is we have to put them in a bag and very slowly, every day, we squeeze a little bit of that intestine back into the peritoneal cavity. So over a few days, the intestine will go back in. So that's the two ways we usually use to close them, either right away if it's easy to do or over a period of time. Babies with gastroschisis usually have a very good prognosis and outcome. It, again, it depends on how much damage the intestine has had. Most of the time, the outcome is very good.